Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Psychotic. I know I do gaming videos and stuff, however I do vlogs as well, but recently something has been weighing on me and this goes out to all the single mothers and single fathers and depending on your situation, you know, and what you do for your kids, it's hard. And I don't think that single parents get enough credit in regard to doing what they do. And like me, I work full time, I own a business, I take my son to practice for soccer three times a week, I do all the driving, I do this, I do that. And I think when it comes down to it, that us as single parents, we don't get a ton of credit. And again, I'm not talking bad about anybody, you know, everybody has certain situations where they struggle. You know, my significant other, she does an amazing job with her kids. My mom and my dad, they weren't single parents, but they raised my sister and I very well with a great heart and stuff like that. But also we were taught not to put up with, you know, shit. Excuse the coarse language. But at the end of the day, I still feel that I see so many single parents struggling this day and age, whether it's due to inflation or maybe it's because their significant other doesn't help out as much. Again, I can't share other than what is in my own experience when it comes to being a single parent. And I, there's not anything I won't do for my son. Some people could say, well, yeah, you know, I'm a great father. Some people could say, yeah, I'm an okay father, but I don't ever believe that I'll be a perfect father because I don't believe in perfection. I also don't believe my kid is perfect because I think that entitles them later in life that, oh, well, I'm perfect. Maybe I deserve everything sort of thing. But I will always do what's right for my son. That will raise him how I see fit. Now, as single parents, we always question if we're doing something wrong. Honestly, whether we are or not, that's not for anybody else to tell us because we're still learning. I just feel a need for this message to get out there to all the single parents that are going through things with maybe their ex or maybe just things in life and they're questioning themselves and that is we're always learning how to be a parent. You know, my mom, she's in her 60s and I'm 32 and she has always told me that no matter what, she was still learning how to parent. And I believe that because there's always something, you know, they age, our kids age, they grow up to be adults. They're always gonna be our kid, you know? And at the same time, I feel like even as <laughs> you age later in life and maybe they're out of the house, that you'll still want to parent in a way. You'll always be there for your kid, at least I will. I can't speak for anybody watching this, but I can say that you're doing a good job. And I can say that it is hard at times when you feel like you are the one doing whatever you can for your kid. Now, I'm not pointing fingers, I never will. And again, to those of you watching this that want to be a better parent or that are looking to be a better parent or you feel like you're not enough, you are. Because oftentimes I question myself and I have been blessed in life to find love and to find a person that loves me for me and tells me that I can do better. You know, and she has always told me things like, Scott, you're doing good. You're a great father. And oftentimes I don't believe myself. You know, maybe I'm not doing enough for my son. You know, he's he wants to be a professional soccer player and I am doing whatever I can to try to help him get there. I drive probably 12 hours a day for work and then I drive another two to three just to make sure he gets there depending on how far away the practice is. And then there's the weekend games and stuff like that. But my point that I'm trying to make is no matter what you guys think about yourself as parents, don't listen to that little voice in the head like, you know, the angel, the demon sort of thing. Don't listen to that little guy over here and focus on the positive of what you are doing right. What you can control, not what you can't control. We can't control other people, but what we can control is what we are doing for ourselves and for our kids. But anyway, I just thought this was a message that I felt like I needed to share. And I truly hope you guys listen and I hope you guys can see that, you know, it's hard as a single parent and I get that, but at the same time, we are all doing our best. Whether your, you know, ex is or isn't, 
or whether they are or whether you're doing your best or whether you feel like sometimes your best isn't enough, you are doing enough. And they'll appreciate that later in life because they'll see it. Kids are like sponges. They pick up on everything. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoy my videos. You know, I do kind of these horror game reviews or game plays and I'm going to do more. And I've also started doing like these quest games on an old school game I grew up with. It's kind of like a nostalgic feeling. So anyway, hope you guys enjoy these videos and please take this message and consider it because all we can do is our best. Anyway, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.